And we're live. Hey, good evening. It's 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. It is not 5 a.m. in the morning, but we're here to talk about change. Ooh, change, 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 change. No, not change. People. People and change. People say that people resist change. I was listening to a great um, motivational speak about people and change and influencing them all. And it was a statement he said. He says, people don't resist change. People resist being changed. So we're going to talk about that a little bit tonight. And this is the 5 a.m. Master Scrum Show. I am Greg Master, Scrum Master, Natural Coach. Apparently my phone is banging at me. And it is our 738th episode of the show. I'll mute my phone. Oh, can't mute the dog. She's snoring away there because it's late. She's bedtime. Um, but we talk about bringing Scrum and Agile to the teams and to the people and helping everyone bring value without working crazy hours. So how many people work some crazy hours? It really is some crazy hours. So you can get home to family and friends, have fun, have fun at the office, right? It shouldn't be this way. It should be fun. What I want to talk about, what's not fun is people trying to change people. And that's not what they like. People don't really resist change. They resist being changed. And what I see is a lot of agile coaches, a lot of scrum masters, a lot of managers, lots of tech leads, trying to change people into what they're not. However, you can ch- people can change, right? It's how you do it. And one of the things we look at doing, hey, Bubbles, you want to be on the show? Okay, we got Bubba's clickbait. Bubba's clickbait. There's the cat. <laughs> Apparently, she sees in the thing about being on the show now. Okay. You good now, Bubbles? Yeah, she's good. She's laying down. Okay. So, they resist being changed. And what I see a lot of Agile coaches do, well, I'm going to tell you how to do it. You should do it this way. This is what I want you to do. You're doing it wrong, Right. These are the phrases a lot of Agile coaches and Scrum Masters say, especially when you talk about Agile. I was reading, somebody wrote something about, one of my connections says something about words you shouldn't use, right? But this is the thing, right? Yes, you know a lot about Agile. You understand what's going on. Is it take for you to tell them how to do their job or as a coach, when you coach people, for them to realize what's a good Maybe a better way. I don't know. It depends. They have to make that call. By getting people to own the change and what they want to do, they're more happy to do it. I was in a discussion yesterday. We are talking about coming up with this idea, right? I said, it's fine to come up with the idea, but we got to get everyone to buy into it or own it themselves. Have them manipulate it into what they think it should be that will work best for them. Maybe we give them some boundaries, right? But everything in the boundary is all theirs. And that's, that's what you call not making people change. But we can influence them and give them some boundaries. Now, some will say, those <sighs> update, Chrome update, everything update sucks. Okay. I hate all these software because they're doing updates and the bandwidth is terrible or the latency factor. I don't think it's my, my connection. The more and more I see what's going on, I definitely think it's the software updates that are going out right now. Because I saw Chrome update today, Windows updated. There's probably a ton of other pieces of software right now. I did see something out. And I wanted to try. I was hoping the updates that went would cause this not to happen with latency, but it's still happening. So sorry about that. I apologize. I will try some more things to get rid of the latency. I saw a video gaming trick that I might try, and hopefully that'll that'll keep the latency down. Um, we'll see. I think things are running in the background. I'll try to screw up my whole bandwidth. So anyway, um, So the idea being that we are telling them how to change the way they do their job is not the way where I like to do it. I like to show them what's out there, right? I say, look, these are all your options. What would you like to do, right? You can't work the way we're doing it. 
And again, again, I got the slowness on the latency factor. But I think you can still hear the audio, so I'll just keep going. It's just the video sucks so bad in this recording. It's really bad. I had to figure this out. There, but they may not see them. Like me as an enterprise coach, look at everyone's board. They're so down deep, like an ostrich buried their head in the hole in their group. They don't see what everyone else is doing, but I see. And I see the impact of that. So one of the things I'm going to be doing late, um, one of my teams, my organizations, I'm going to lay out, here's what every team is doing. What do you all see that's common among the teams? Let's, can we all agree on that as a common practice? And then we're going to we're gonna say, yeah. And then there are going to be some differences. Then I'm going to have them debate about the differences, what they like, what they don't like, explore it a little bit, try to get them all to agree or vote on what they want to do so we can move on as an enterprise. But this way they own, they have a say in what it is. It's not me, Greg Master, Scrum Master, um, or Agile Coach, or Enterprise Coach, telling them how to do the job. But I give them all the options because someone has to lay that out for them. So here's all the things you decide. It's like a buffet dinner, right? Here's all the food choices. You pick the ones you want, right? And hopefully you'll you'll be in common with other teams. But that's not changing them. That's allowing them to change. So it's not resistant to change because we do need to change while we're doing business. But it allows them to make the call on what they want to change and what they want to change to. And by giving them that authority, that self-organization, what is really a self-organization, they more likely adapt to it quicker. And they work on it. They try to make it work, right? If it doesn't work, they'll tell you. Well, they might not tell you, but they'll try. So with that being said, the idea that people resist change is incorrect. They resist being changed. So we have to not change them, but give them choices. Give them thoughts. Here's some explorations. Here's some things I've seen. Here's how does that work for you? Does that help you in any way? Would you like to use it? Would you like some coaching in it? Um, do you want some ideas? And those are the kind of things that we do. Um, not always taking the answer, but showing them how to develop the answer and how to walk through the process of looking at different possible solutions that may be better than one solution fits all, right? So that I wanted to share with you because it's a very, very, very fine point. Oh, I want to add one thing. It's not about letting them do what the hell they want to, by the way. Whatever the team wants, go do it. No, if they want 50 freaking fields in the system, no, you, no, it ain't going to happen, right? One, you got to say when you're going nuts because you're never going to enter it all stuff. So don't even go there, right? I mean, you work with them on that. Let them um, work their own way, come up with a brand new system. I guess you could, but does it really make sense from an enterprise perspective? Probably not. If it's a small group of people that want to achieve something and they're off on their own, maybe, right? Still got to deliver to the customer. As long as whatever they come up with delivers product, it's okay. If they're, what they come up with doesn't deliver product for two years, that's not okay, right? So we have to work with them. And and we as agile coaches have to show, you know, you tried this, but, or you tried this, and this is the results you're getting. They may not have visibility of. And I'm going to end with this latency is terrible. Please give us a thumbs up if you like the show. I hope the audio got taken in because the video is crud. God, I haven't, I haven't been doing this for two years. I have never, ever in two years seen it this bad from a latency perspective. Whatever Windows did, hosed up the world. You know what? I went and looked on Google for some things going on. I'm seeing nothing, right? So I think that's, I don't know. Am I the only one? Anyway, I wish you all the best. Happy scrumming. Take care. And let your team change for themselves. You just got to help them along, but don't force them to change themselves. All right. Take care. See y'all. Good night, Bubbles. Good night, Patty. Good night, Terry. Good night, folks.
See you tomorrow. Bye.